Mongolia must detain Russian President Vladimir Putin because it is a member of the International Criminal Court, ICC, a spokesman for the Hague-based body has said. Putin is scheduled to visit Russia's neighbor on Monday to mark the 85th anniversary of a major World War II battle. This would theoretically put him at risk of arrest on the ICC's war crimes warrant as Ulaanbaatar recognizes the court's jurisdiction. Mongolia ratified the ICC's founding document in 2002. Six months ago, one of its judges was appointed to sit on the court in a historic first for the Central Asian nation. All states that signed the Rome Statute have the obligation to cooperate in accordance with Chapter 9, ICC spokesman Fadi El Abdallah told the BBC. The Rome Statute is an international treaty that set up the court, which Mongolia ratified in 2002. In case of non-cooperation, ICC judges may make a finding to the effect and inform the Assembly of States parties of it. It is then for the Assembly to take any measure it deems appropriate, El Abdallah said. The Rome Statute provides for exemptions when arresting someone would breach a treaty obligation with another country or violate the diplomatic immunity of a person or property of a third state. Ukraine has also filed an official demand with Mongolia to arrest Putin, according to the government in Kiev. Moscow has no concerns about the ICC warrant, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters earlier on Friday, noting that all possible issues concerning Putin's visit have been worked out separately in advance. The ICC issued a warrant for Putin's arrest in March 2023, accusing the Russian president of unlawful deportation of population and unlawful transfer of population from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation. Moscow has rejected the claims as ridiculous, noting that the evacuation of civilians from combat zones was not a crime. Moreover, neither Russia nor Ukraine is party to the Rome Statute, meaning that the ICC has no jurisdiction in the matter. Putin is expected to extend a ceremony commemorating the 1939 Battle of Kalkin Gol. The decisive victory of the Red Army and its Mongolian allies over the Imperial Japanese Army secured the Soviet Union's eastern flank until 1945. Russian President Vladimir Putin is not concerned that Mongolia could arrest him on international criminal court charges during his upcoming trip, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov has said. We have excellent relations with our friends from Mongolia, Peskov told reporters. All issues concerning Putin's visit have been worked out separately, he added noting that Moscow has no concerns about the ICC warrant. At least five people were killed and 13 others injured as a strong blast rocked Yemen's Aden district on Friday evening. The explosion occurred on al Taysim Street in the densely populated Mansura district, following a fire at the gas station. The explosion was heard across various parts of the city. The cause of the explosion has not been revealed yet, according to media reports. A Yemeni security official, speaking on condition of anonymity, expressed grave concerns about potential casualties due to the proximity of the gas station to residential areas. One police officer was shot dead and two others injured after a shooting in Dallas, Texas on Thursday evening, local police said. The incident took place at around 10.10 p.m. local time in the area of East Ledbetter Drive and South Marsalis Avenue in the Oak Cliff area of Dallas, police said in a statement early Friday. The suspect fled the scene but was shot and killed by Dallas police officers who pursued him to the 1000 block of Stemmons Freeway down I-35E in Louisville, the statement reads. One of the injured police officers passed away in the hospital from the injuries sustained in the shooting. Two other police officers were also transported to local hospitals and are currently in critical and stable conditions. Officials did not give any possible motive for the shooting and the investigation into the incident is ongoing.